The movie begins with us seeing an ex-CIA officer named Mill, who buys a speaker from a shop so he can gift it to his daughter on her birthday. At the birthday party, he meets his ex-wife who doesn't like him to meet their daughter, as per the court orders granting custody to his wife. However, Mill insists on meeting his daughter, and eventually, Kim arrives. She becomes very happy when she opens the gift. Here we see that Mill loves his daughter very much. In another scene, we see that Kim's stepfather has gifted her a horse, which makes Kim very excited. The next day, Mill gets emotional while looking at Kim's childhood photo album at home, and his friends come over and they all have a barbecue together. We find out that Mill is jobless, and his friends tell him about a high-paying job as a VIP driver. The following day is Mill's first day at the job, where he has to transport a celebrity from one location to another, and also serve as the celebrity's bodyguard. In the makeup room, Mill tells the celebrity that his daughter is also interested in singing and asks for some tips. However, the celebrity behaves rudely towards him. During the concert, chaos ensues due to the crowd, and Mill is taking the celebrity away when an attacker tries to harm the celebrity, but Mill saves her. The celebrity gets frightened and shocked because of the attack, but Mill comforts her. The next day, Mill meets his daughter Kim, who tells him that she wants to go on a trip to Paris with her friend Amanda and needs Mill's signature to leave the country. Mill tells her that a 17-year-old girl should not travel alone, and he refuses to give permission for the trip, which upsets Kim, and she leaves. The next day, Mill goes to Kim's house with some conditions and gives his approval for the trip, making Kim very happy. While driving Kim to the airport, Mill tells her about certain places in Paris where she should be cautious as there is human trafficking targeting young girls, but Kim carelessly ignores his warnings. Mill takes a picture of Kim, and Kim says goodbye to her parents before leaving. Kim and Amanda arrive at the Paris airport, where a man named Peter offers to take their picture and introduces himself. They have a friendly conversation with Peter. He suggests sharing a taxi to the hotel. When they reach the hotel, Peter invites them to a party for the night, and Kim's friend Amanda agrees. Afterward, we see Peter making a call, providing information about the two girls. On the other hand, Mill is worried because he hasn't received any calls regarding Kim's arrival in Paris. While Amanda enjoys herself in the hotel room, Kim receives a call from Mill and talks to him in another room. Suddenly, when she looks out of the window, she sees a masked man entering their hotel room and capturing Amanda. Mill hears everything and tells her to inform him everything. All these things are revealed. Mill records them in his spy gadgets. Mill tells her to hide under the bed in the next room and she does so. Mill tells her that they will take her away, but she needs to pay attention to their conversation to escape. They enter the room and Kim relays their conversation to Mill. They leave, and shortly after, a man pulls Kim out from under the bed. However, Kim screams and reveals the kidnapper's identity and a tattoo on his right hand through a phone call. Then, the man talks to Mill, and he tells him on the call that he has no enmity with him, but if he doesn't let Kim go, he will find and kill him. The kidnapper wishes him good luck and the call ends. Mill immediately goes to Kim's house and informs his ex-wife that Kim has been kidnapped. He investigates Kim's room and quickly boards a flight to Paris. While Mill is on the plane to Paris, he repeatedly listens to recordings. Upon reaching Paris, he goes to a hotel where the room is locked. He tries to enter through a window from the outside. When he looks inside the room, everything is in chaos. Mill places himself in Kim's position and imagines the scene while listening to the recording. Then he goes to the bedroom and imagines the scene under the bed. He finds Kim's broken phone there and takes out the memory card. Mill then goes to the subway and reads the memory card using a machine, which contains pictures of Kim. When he zooms in on a picture from the airport, he sees Peter's reflection. The next day, we see a girl at the airport whom Peter recognizes. He asks her to share a cab and she agrees. They start to leave, but Mill attacks Peter and Peter escapes. Mill chases Peter's car but loses him when Peter jumps off a bridge and gets hit by a truck. Then Mill meets an old intelligence friend and tells him that his daughter has been abducted, asking for his help. The friend places a spy on him. At night, Mill goes to the red light area in Paris and hires an Albanian translator to sit in the car with him. He approaches a prostitute and asks her some questions, but she gets annoyed, and a man arrives. The man captures Mill and warns him, but Mill secretly attaches a microphone to his clothes and escapes. In the car, Mill listens to the conversations translated by the translator. One person talks about keeping some girls in a construction site, and Mill asks the translator for a dictionary and leaves. Mill goes to a construction site and secretly enters. He sees a brotheral with several sections inside. He finds drugged girls there. Mill searches for Kim in each section. In one section, he finds Kim's jacket, but the girl wearing it is not Kim. He asks her where she got the jacket, but the drugged girl cannot provide any information, and a fight ensues. Mill fights against several people and manages to rescue the girl but faces heavy gunfire. The people continue to chase his car, but Mill tricks them and escapes. 
On the way, Mill spots his friend's spy and gives him the middle finger. Then he books a room where he tries to revive and take care of the girl. The next day, his friend asks to meet him in the park, but Mill, seeing him from a distance, tells him to inform his spies to stop jogging, as they actually wanted to catch Mill. His friend tells him to go home, but instead, the police are sent to his location. When the police arrive, Mill is not there, and he escapes. The girl regains consciousness the next day, and Mill shows her a picture of Kim, asking if she gave her the jacket. She confirms and reveals that she received it from a house where they deceived her and took her there. She remembers the name Rue de Paradis. Mill then goes to Rue de Paradise Street. He enters there and shows his friend's card to a person, presenting himself as an intelligence agent and demanding to see their boss. He manages to extract money from them by pretending to be an intelligence agent. Then, he hands a letter to a man with the message, Good luck written on it. When the man speaks to him, Mill confirms that he is the same person he last spoke to. He proceeds to beat up everyone there, one by one, until they all die. He searches the house and finds a girl in a room. This girl turns out to be Kim's friend Amanda, who died due to a drug overdose, which saddens Mill. The next day, Mill captures the man, tortures him, but he refuses to reveal anything. Mill electrocutes him, and he confesses that his daughter was sold. He mentions a person named St. Clair who sells girls. Mill switches on the electric current and leaves. The next day, Mill's friend's wife informs him about Mill's arrival. Friend keeps gun nearby, sits at the table. Mill mentions an intelligence commission involved in the mafia and asks friend's involvement. Friend points gun at Mill, but Mill assures him no bullets and shoots his wife with his loaded gun. At gunpoint, Mill extracts information about St. Clair from friend and leaves. He attends a party in fake police identity, searching for St. Clair. Disguised as a waiter, he witnesses an auction of girls, including Kim. Mill buys Kim at gunpoint from the billionaire, then gets attacked and rendered unconscious. Upon waking up, Mill sees St. Claire. Mill asks for Kim, but Claire refuses. Claire tries to kill Mill, but Mill escapes and kills everyone. Mill captures Claire, who reveals Kim is on a yacht. Mill kills Claire and follows the billionaire's car to the yacht. He hijacks the car, jumps onto the yacht, fights security personnel. Billionaire shoots Mill, but they continue fighting. In the end, Mill stabs and kills the billionaire, then leaves. In the next room, Mill finds Kim with a knife at her throat. He shoots the man and saves Kim. They meet and hug. The next day, Mill and Kim return to America, where everyone is happy, and the movie ends. 